How to install Cydia on your iOS 6 beta device. It's actually really easy to do. First of all, you want to jailbreak your device, of course, on iOS 6, and then do a boot tethered. So tether boot, make sure you're at your home screen. And what we want to do first of all is we want to notate your IP address on your Wi-Fi network. You have to be connected to Wi-Fi to do this because you need to SSH into your device in order to transfer some files and install some files. So head over to your settings for your Wi-Fi network, notate your IP address for your device, mine is 10.0.1.27, and then we're gonna open up an SSH client. Now you can use any client you wanna use. If you're on Windows, you can use Putty. If you're on Mac, you can use Coda. You can use, uh, there's just tons of things you can use. So just search for SSH client in Google. Now put the server name, that is the IP address of the device. So it's gonna be 10.0.1.27. So we'll go ahead and type that in, 10.0.1.27. And then the username is root and the password is alpine lowercase and of course the server port is going to be 22 which is default for ssh now we're logged in now all we want to do is just paste in the following command and this command is going to be in the in the description and on the post on i download blog so just paste in that command i know you can't really see it right there very well but just check the description you'll find that command paste it in Hit enter on your keyboard or return, and then it will do its thing. It'll download the packages and it'll transfer all these files over to your device and it will install Cydia on your device running iOS 6 beta. So it's really that easy. You don't have to do that much. If you can SSH into your device, then you can install Cydia on your device. So let's head over to our device and there it is. It's gonna respring. You'll see the Apple logo. Notice that, I think that's kind of new. The Apple logo appearing on a respring. Now we're gonna go ahead and unlock and there is Cydia just like that folks. So now you can actually install packages, et cetera, whatever you want to do. First of all, it's going to do the preparing file system. You know the drill. Uh, that takes a long time. So we're going to kind of bypass that on this video. And the main thing I want to show you is that I am able to successfully install an app via Cydia on iOS 6 beta. Now, granted, not all apps are compatible with iOS 6. In fact, most aren't. So don't get your hopes up too far as far as installing apps and tweaks uh, with iOS 6 beta because the developers haven't really had a chance to update all of their apps and tweaks to work with iOS 6 yet. So just keep that in mind. While there are some packages that work just fine from my experience or work adequately well like iFile, you're going to find that the majority of the packages probably won't be compatible with iOS 6 yet. Though I haven't been able to test all the most popular ones, I wouldn't get my hopes up too far just yet. So let's go ahead and install iFile. Let's search for it. There we go and eventually we'll get the little install button to appear in the upper right hand corner there it is so just tap install and confirm and it'll go through and install download and install iFile just like that so folks that is how you get Cydia on your iOS 6 beta device again this requires you to do a tethered boot first you have to find your IP address you have to SSH into your device and then you have to enter that command to transfer all the necessary files and install the necessary files in order to use Cydia on iOS 6 beta. But it's really simple to do, as you saw in this video, it's really you know, straightforward. Again, the string of commands that you need to enter into SSH is included in the description of the video, and it will be on the post on iDownload blog, along with the full written tutorial as well. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Again, let's load up iFile here. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Works just as one might expect. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.